My name is Tashi Norbu. I am a Tibetan painter now in Holland. And uh, in, the, in the 1996, I have done this painting while I was working for His Holiness the Dalai Lama's private office in Dharamsala. I'm one of the seven artists there during that time. Honored to be working for His Holiness Dalai Lama. And then when I made this painting, it took I did one of the most detailed painting ever made for Dalai Lama, actually. And uh, this took 12 months for me and finished in uh, 1997 when His Holiness Dalai Lama s signed this painting with blessed on this painting also. Shakya Gelong, Buddhist monk, Dalai Lama. Dalai is a Mongolian word for Dalai Lama. And then 1997, June 27, that's how we write in Tibetan. So Talai Lama is a name given by the Alden Khan, the grandson of uh, Chinggis Khan. This is a portrait of Dalai Lama with a realism face. And then uh, the hailer the, is written in uh, Sanskrit, Om Mani Pembe Hong, taken round. And this is painted in a real gold uh, uh, 20, 24 karat gold and this uh, in fact is a sunbeam and then he sits on the lion throne as a leader of Tibet uh, and all these details here uh, the brocade design we use in traditional Tibetan brocade so like f for the throne the the seat the backside also you will see um, the clouds, flower, and um, the five element that sits behind. This is all um, done traditionally, correct? And then you see all, again the white scarf here behind to bring luck. And um, this whole throne is used also in the, in the pa paintings made of the Karmapas also. And then this style of a dragon holding the, the precious jewels and uh, the, basically this is a lion throne and he sits on the three uh, um, more like a cushions but uh, it's we use that it's a uh, different ranks for different lamas so we have this also this is a uh, Samyak monastery the first uh, monastery of Tibet it was in fact built to uh, protect uh, Buddhism, Buddhist culture. In fact, it was uh, the third mightiest king of Tibet, this Chizong Dilzen. He invited Padmasambhava and uh, Kenjin Shivaso in Tibet, and then they built this uh, monastery. And it is said that the, uh, Padmasambhava flew in the sky, and then the Kenjin Shivaso has made the lines. And then they draw the line, in between that line, they build this monastery according to the measurement of the mandala. And that is the, since then, uh, this monastery was built in the daytime by the human beings and in the night with the spirits. The snow line that you can see in the Tibetan national flag, this is used as the king of Tibet, so the snow lines are used. Rida Pomo, that is the two deer, male and the female one, symbol of uh, fertility, in fact. And also we use this often in the Tibetan monastery because Buddha has given his first teaching in the deer park. That's why this is used. This is typical Tibetan prayer flags. And it goes through the, the sky blue, the, the red sand, the vegetation green, the yellow earth, and the white flag. And it's like uh, that you see in the um, Himalayas. And it is written uh, again, uh, all the letters, uh, Om Mani Peme Hong, all the mantras written in a gold line uh, with the real gold uh, paints. Um, it's, you can read them. I can still read them. Um, it can be read by the microscope. I made this painting, studied the classical Tibetan art for seven years. Uh, for me, it's my graduation part, which I wanted to do before I start uh, contemporary paintings. So, after 
learning so long uh, traditional paintings, Tibetan paintings, I could, when I finished my modern uh, art school in uh, Belgium, then for me now it's very much I could use both culture and I uh, use from the classical uh, images and so to make it in the modern, most modern form which is also upgrading the classical art, the traditional part. So now in the museum you will also see the very modern uh, unicorn paintings done in the flowers, roses, which is completely out of the tradition. But when you look at it clearly, you see all the features of the unicorn and the paintings, how they are done. It's classical uh, paintings but painted in the most modern form, like very much like expressionism. So this is one of the most refined painting that I've done in the past inside Tibetan classical art. Thank you. This is het portrait van the Dalai Lama, geschilderd door the Tibetaans kunstenaar Tashi Norbu. Het schilderij zal te zien zijn in de collectie van het Wereldmuseum, speciaal in de afdeling Tibet. Deze afdeling wordt beheerd door een stichting die het portret heeft aangekocht. Het is een grote eer voor de kunstenaar en ook voor het museum dat het schilderij daar getoond wordt. In de zomer van 2012 zal in het Wereldmuseum een verkooptentoonstelling te zien zijn van het werk van de Tibetaans kunstenaar Tashi Norbu. Naast het werk van de Tibetaans kunstenaar Tashi Norbu zal ook het werk van Janis Tevali te zien zijn. Zij is geboren in 1975 in Leeuwarden en momenteel woonachtig in België. Janis Tefali was een van de kunstenaars die getoond werd in de tentoonstelling Future Pass in de Biennale van Venetië in 2011. Diezelfde tentoonstelling was ook te zien vanaf december 2011 tot maart 2012 in het Wereldmuseum. Om die reden hebben we opnieuw haar werk hier in een verkooptentoonstelling. Janis heeft een hele speciale stijl ontwikkeld die heel herkenbaar is. Het zijn eigenlijk allemaal kleine blokjes olieverf die ingekaderd zijn. Het wordt ook wel devialisme genoemd. Haar onderwerpen zijn popidolen, uh, bekende mensen uit de fashion-industrie en ook uh, belangrijke vrouwen, waaronder bijvoorbeeld prinses Diana. In al deze schilderijen probeert ze iets te zeggen over het stardom van deze mensen en dat is ook versterkt door het materiaalgebruik. Tashi, could you explain to me why you are working with her at this moment? I work with uh, at the moment with Mrs. Diwali because she happened to be the key artist of the Future Pass uh, uh, Venice Biennale and also in the World Museum. And for my uh, art in transformation time, uh, for me to meet and cooperate with having this honor is uh, very, very uh, in interesting and inspiring for me. And for my transformation from Tibetan classical art towards the modern contemporary and anima mix world, it's the greatest uh, inspiration I can uh, bring over. Uh, for such uh, artists, two different uh, backgrounds, we could meet in such a great platform like Verol Museum, is the name itself, makes us a uh, complete um, stage to perform such uh, art here.